It's a, it's a 90 minute film that is based on the existence of an object created by a very famous American artist called Ed Rouché uh, that he done that he's done in 1976-79 um, and that he placed in a in a desert where it's invisible and nobody knows where it is. The, the object is a fake boulder, it's a fake rock that is about two meter, one meter fifty, one, one meter high, one meter large, quite big. And um, it looks exactly like other rocks of this region and it's hidden there somewhere. This picture, do you recognize anything in there or does that Ring any bells? It's like two guys holding a uh, fake movie rock. Okay. How about this picture here? No. This doesn't look unfamiliar as something Ed might be uh, conceiving, but I don't know about it. And uh, I discovered the existence of that piece in uh, ten, about ten years ago. Uh, I was given a a documentary done by the BBC in which you could see the artist working on that piece and placing it in the desert somewhere around Los Angeles. And I thought it was interesting. Well, I thought the piece was... I'm, I, I love uh, Rouche's work and I thought it was an interesting work because it was a very funny or interestingly funny and witty relationship to at the same time art and cinema and uh, I just thought it was I didn't know really what to do in the beginning but I thought it would be interesting to do something to, to do a film around the existence of that work the film is a documentary in the sense that the technique we use, or the economy, is the economy of documentary. We just uh, we just follow real people, and we uh, we don't uh, uh, we don't stage anything, and we just follow uh, record. We record real conversation and real reactions, and we basically follow. I hired uh, I hired a private investigator to find a piece, and I hired. Uh, a a, a trio of, uh, of actually a duo of screenwriters to work on that of the on the existence of that piece. So the, it is somehow documentary. Tommy, Mike Scott here. I got a case on some uh, missing sculpture or missing art, and maybe a shorty surveillance. Maybe a couple three days. Let you know the status and where we go. I wanted to reverse what is uh, what was in the in the in the in the Ed Rouchet's piece in, initially that is as you said a, fake, a fictional object hidden in in natural uh, environment and I wanted to to see how it, what it would produce if I was hiding a real documentary into fictions in in other words i was i was trying to to shoot a documentary in such a way that it it would be perceived as a fiction and so the the whole work the whole methodology was to find out how to do that how how do you transform something that is unscripted into something that looks scripted and initially it was supposed to be more like an art movie like as you described me looking for the rock a kind of impossible quest but then I don't for many reasons the project have changed and I ended up doing this more like uh, fictional uh, classic uh, Hollywood kind of movie and less, uh, less arty and more like a classic movie. Yeah, 
Have you heard of the project called Rocky II that Mr. Ruscha might have been involved with? Never. No. Rocky II. Yeah, Rocky II. Like the movie. Rocky II. No. Rocky II. Sounds like a movie. I know nothing about、uh, these pictures and work that it depicts. I don't identify a work at all. What is it? I did. I wanted to appear as less as possible in the film, so I needed somebody to represent me searching for the rock. And I thought the best way to do it is to do what people do in Los Angeles. That is to hire a private investigator to look for something, and that's that was mainly to resolve a practical problem, and not it was not about、uh, placing.、Uh, it's it was not about using the detective to represent the audience or to. I never thought about that. I was told he, there was a private screening who was organized in August.、Uh, And I was told he liked it a lot, and he thought it was very clever and, and creative, and that he was he was amused and surprised. He, I, th- I think, I was told he said that he would he would never imagine that he, doing that piece 40 years ago that he would he would he would produce such a film. But I didn't talk to him directly, so I have no I have no direct stories to tell you.